Okay, so for chapter 5, we're going to be looking at radicals, equations of radicals, and equations of radicals. Just uh, to shortly recap, the square root of something is the area of the square. The dimensions will be the square root of that number. So in this case, it would be 2 by 2, or the square root of 4 by the square root of 4 is equal to 4. The same goes for the cube root of something. The dimensions will be the cube root of the area. The first thing we look at uh, in chapter 5 is adding and subtracting radicals. It's important that the radicals are like radicals and that they have uh, like or the same index and radicand. And just a uh, recap, this part of the radical is the index and this part of the radical underneath the sign is the actual radicand itself. So. To add and subtract these numbers, right now they have the same index, but they don't have the same radicand, so we can convert these to simplest form to find uh, that they do have the same radicand. So to do this, we simply uh, convert this to a mixed radical, 3x over 2x plus 8x and the root of 2x. And then so we subtract 3x from 8x and we have 5x root 2x. And that is it's as simple as that. It's not hard whatsoever. When we multiply and divide, we need to make sure that they have the same index, but the radicand does not have to be the same. So here uh, we simply just multiplied it in like we would any equation. We FOIL this in and we find that we get 7, seven times 2 is 14, 3 times 6 is 18, 18 minus 7 times 3 is 21, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then we simplify these, and we have 42 root 2 minus 21 root 6. We can't simplify these anymore, and we can't add or subtract these together to make it even more simple. So this is our expression in lowest form after multiplying. Uh, when you're dividing roots, you're going to notice uh, a lot of times that, well, this is in simplest form. It's actually not because you can't have a root function as the denominator. So uh, to fix this, we just remember that this is the same as this, and this helps us. This can help us with problems. But to rationalize the denominator, we simply multiply the denominator by itself, divided by itself. So this, uh, this expression will still have the same value, but we won't have a denominator that is a root function. So after we multiply this, we have 2 root 20 over 2, because these square roots cancel each other out and we're left with just a regular old 2. And 2 root 20, we simplify this and we have these 2 cancels out. So the answer here is just a square root of 20. And we aren't done yet because we can still simplify this more and convert it to a mixed radical, which is just 2 root 5. Now, this is a pretty basic uh, form of division for radicals. It gets more complicated and we have to use what's called the conjugate or the denominator. It's the value that you multiply the denominator by and essentially you're just multiplying it and you're changing the sign of the root function. So instead of squaring it like we did here, we're multiplying it by 2 plus root 3. And also you'll see why this is beneficial in just one second. So once we factor these out, we find that we're left with something that looks kind of like this. Just quickly factor our denominators is 10 root 2 plus 
five, six. We factor those and we have underneath the fraction, we're left with four, two times two, minus four root three, plus four root three, minus three. And the reason we use the conjugate was because whenever we factor and we have a positive and a negative root sign, we'll have these these two values just cancel. So instead of having some complicated trinomial underneath our uh, numerator, we just have 10 root 2 plus 5 root 6 over 4 minus 3, or just 10 root 2 plus 5 root 6 over 1. And that's our answer.